The FBI is investigating a bunch of houses for that serial killer stuff. Look for some leads, and they go knocking on the door, and the guy just answers it and goes, Bah! Shoots the guy. But she also was like, I think that guy's in there. He's like, yeah, you're fucking crazy. I'm just going to knock on the door and just see what's good. Hello? Ah! So, Micah Moreau is a bit of an X-Man. Like, she has like a 50-50 sort of psychic ability. Not like total psychic, just enough like you get stuff right half the time. Because the FBI has tested her. Sort of like, you know, at the beginning of the Ghostbusters, they're like trying to see how psychic you are. Like, maybe she put that in her job application. Or <laughs> they found that out later. Or just helped her get the job. I don't know. But she goes into the room like, put your fucking hands up, man. And you're like, is that Nick Cage yet? Like, no, man. It's just uh, a, some crazy dude. Well, they arrested that guy. And I think it's the same guy who also killed a family down the street from there. So they're investigating that. And they're like, hey, man, you want to check this out? Oh, they've been dead here a month. Of maggots crawling out of their faces. Gross. The victims are a mother and a daughter who's born on the 14th of like March or April or something. It's always got to be like on the 14th and he leaves creepy zodiac like notes at the crime scene. Monroe, she takes her home work home with her and she uh, deciphers it. But does it really equal anything? Like, they don't solve the case earlier or anything because of it. And she figures out, well, I'm going to use my psychic ability and it's saying to go see my mom. And the mom's a weirdo anyway. But she goes, well, I had a flashback when I was younger and I took a Polaroid of Nicolas Cage way back in the day. We could use that now today to get a good idea of him. And this guy stands out like a sore thumb everywhere he goes people are like whoa what is that freak because he has like plastic surgery michael jackson look you know or simon cal or one of these other celebrities that just messed up their face with plastic surgery so they arrest him real quick and they need some evidence to actually put him away because they can't link him to any murder. He was just, oh, well, he's a Satan worshiper, and I guess that's his right to do so. So you need to get a confession out of him and uh, try to see if he has any accomplice like you think. Of course he's the one responsible for it because he looks guilty as fuck, too. But, you know, you need evidence. I don't think he tells him anything useful either. He just goes like, this and that, weird stuff, hail Satan. And then he just starts headbanging himself against the table and ends that life. His nose was like hanging off and I guess he choked to death on his own nose. It was probably like Jackson too, dude. Like his nose is all fragile. I bet you can break his own nose. So they gotta figure out how the hell's he making a bunch of families uh, kill each other. I think the day at the time was the 13th, so they're like, well, we got one more day. So they go back to the crazy Bob's house. Her partner's sitting there in the car, and the mob shoots the partner in the face with a shotgun. So you're like, damn, the mom's in it. Why, mom? Why'd you do it? Oh, my God. What was this child doing there? She's pointing a gun at. Boo! <laughs> And then the mist falls out of her head, but that wasn't a kid. That was, like, one of those, like, satanic dolls. And I guess that released her of all her, like, psychic ability. And then she wakes up, like, passes out because of it. Wakes up to a bunch of, like, weird demon talk over the phone. Rah, 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 creepy stuff. <laughs> but then we find out what caused all this. Well, way back when Nicolas Cage saw us in that snowy part, he actually went, I'll spare you and your daughter's life, but you have to bring these dolls to people. Then I can use Satan magic to Annabelle doll their house, so then they kill each other. <laughs> So she continued to do that for years. And then uh, they were trying to do that to her boss, the FBI agent. He goes in the other room, kills the wife. With like a butcher knife off screen. We just hear it. And then comes out. She shoots him before he could try to kill the daughter. And then the mom is like, what are you doing? And Garrett's a knife, runs at her. She gets caught too. Right in the middle of the head. The old Billy Loomis special. 
My Cup Monroe saves the day. Well, maybe. What the fuck, dude? Like, how many of these dolls do you got in circulation? <laughs> I guess you gotta make a sequel and find out, but... I doubt it, but hey, it made more money than any other horror movie this year, so let's do it. <laughs>